couple of things of note today. There's a brand of uh, aftermarket motorcycle parts, Syro or Ciro. It's spelled C-I-R-O. I assume it's Syro. I don't know for sure. Look it up. I could look it up, but I'm not going to. I'm a fan of most of their stuff, but some of their stuff isn't really worth a shit. And I say some of their stuff, one of their things that I've ever bought multiple of isn't worth a shit. But at the same time, I've never found one of these things that's worth a shit from anybody. That being a cup holder. They make a cup holder that mounts off of this little ball right here that I've now got my GoPro 3 mounted on. And for an empty cup of any sort, it works really well. It stays nice and level. For anything with lip or liquid in it, it uh, immediately falls down on the ball. It's totally worthless. So I got rid of the cup holder and I was using that ram ball right there, which I normally use for my little ham radio. I was using it for my GoPro and sometimes I want to have the GoPro and the ham radio. So Syro Zero makes a GoPro mount for the little cup holder ball. So problem solved with uh, a different solution. Last November-ish, last meaning 2022, I bought, actually it was probably closer to January of 23. Either way, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from uh, Phil Cycle and El Reno to kind of get this how I wanted it. One of those things being the floorboard mounted highway pegs frame mounted highway peg and up until this afternoon those had actual pegs on them Syro also makes these little mini boards like I've got down here and I bought those and installed them this afternoon and holy crap what a difference from pegs these are so freaking comfortable I cannot wait to go on a long ride so kudos to Ciro, Syro, whatever they are, to those. And to the GoPro mount. I get to mount all the things now. The last one or two videos, this is probably the second that I've posted. I've had two cameras rolling at once because it's kind of fun to do multi-angle stuff in the software that I use. DaVinci Resolve. It was kind of fun figuring out. Figuring it out, now that I've got it figured out, it's kind of fun to do it. Now the GoPro 3 footage is obviously terrible quality compared to the GoPro 8 footage on my helmet. 3, 8. And I'm trying to compensate with uh, color stuff in the DaVinci Resolve studio. But I'm not good at that yet either. We'll figure it out. I just noticed I've wore the paint off of that. That being the, uh, the rail that those go on. That's okay though. Oh, also, the power I've got going to the three here. Underneath this dash cover, there's a, there's a bunch of switch inserts there. I don't know what people put on switches on a road glide because the highway lights or driving lights, whatever you call them, they would look stupid on a road glide. There's six switch banks there. I don't know what you would use them for. But there's a connector coming up to both sides. The connector, at least on the left side, has five wires coming into it. Three along the top, two along the bottom. The bottom ones are black, and one of them is purple with a stripe. I can't remember what color the stripe is. But there's only two. One's purple, one's black. The purple one is a 12-volt key, and the black one is obviously ground. So I've got a 5-volt buck converter that I got on Amazon with the mini USB connector on the end of it that I T-tapped into that connector folded all the extra wire up inside the speedo there and uh, ran it up my clutch line with zip ties so I've got 12 volts of that GoPro 
downside if it ever fails that is mini usb and nothing else uses mini usb except for that gopro 3 shouldn't be hard to t-tap something else into it later anyway i'm on my way to cycle gear i figured that was a good place to test run the pegs that i'm not even using the floorboards the mini boards whatever you want to call them because i need gloves fingers are busting through three of the fingers on these gloves that don't really even have that many miles on them and I know cycle gear is just going to sell their built brand that really isn't worth a shit and I should probably research some better gloves and do the whole buy once cry once thing but I'm just going to go look at gloves I may not even buy any I just needed a place to ride and against my better judgment I'm choosing to go to one of the most busy roads in Oklahoma City Northwest Expressway my nose itches yeah yeah these floorboards are freaking great Absolutely hate this freaking road. That went just about as planned. Didn't find the damn thing. I think I bought the gloves that I'm wearing from Revzilla. They have a nice, uh, nice size chart that they size all of their gloves to. So you can take some good measurements and find the right gloves. And they've done video reviews on almost everything that they sell so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like and these seem like a good pair of gloves when i looked them up and bought them but they did not last me long at all before the fingers started busting out of them absolutely hate this road i don't know why i decided to come here most every other motorcycle dealership in this city only really sells dirt gear except for harley and i'm not paying an extra 50 bucks just for something that has a Harley Davidson logo on it. <laughs> I hate traffic. So not really the ideal ride to test these things out. But from what I've felt of them, I love them. <laughs> hey, buddy. First impressions of the uh, the Syro floorboards, mini boards. Fantastic. Wish I would have done them earlier. Well, thank you for riding along as always. And we'll see you next time.